What's up guys, Didi Cthulhu here, and I'm bringing you something a little different yet again. So, we all know that Kingdom Hearts 3 releases January 29th. So, with that being said, GameStop's got some exclusives. Whether you pick them up is on you, but I picked two of them up. First off, we got this, which is an exclusive... Sora statue. Um, I'm going to be unboxing this right now. Oh, shoot. I didn't even see that before. So, there you go. Got a nice little picture of him chilling in his pride stance. And then you got the good old statue on the inside so let's get this okay hopefully without massacring the box okay all right here we go so they made sure to really tape this bad boy up well that's for sure okay here we go Holy smokes, they got this bad boy. All sorts of tape. Okay, here we go. We have made first contact. All right, so upon first glance, um, the attention to detail is pretty darn good on this. So he's on a platform. Uh, the painting's done really well. Uh, he's wearing his uh, newest costume for this one. He's got the Keyblade. Looks pretty dope. So, what this ran me was... I'm trying to remember. I think it's originally like 50 bucks. I don't remember the exact price, but it um so when you pre-order Kingdom Hearts 3 and then you uh what was it? I think I pre-ordered the game, so anything Kingdom Hearts related was 15% off. So I was eyeballing this statue in the first place, but 50 bucks, I felt $49.99 was a little steep, so I was like, oh, I'm not too sure about this. However, with the 15% discount, it all, you know, it felt like a really good investment at that point, and it put it at $35 uh, whenever they were done doing their math, so I can't complain. This is pretty solid. Um... The attention to detail is pretty good. They nailed everything. The colors are what they are in actuality to the actual character. So I'm going to put that bad boy right here. He's going to be watching over this area. Probably going to have to do a little switching around of stuff to make sure he fits in good. So there's the unboxing of that. Now, also... Funko Pop did a mystery box. Um, in the mystery box, it's an exclusive Funko Pop, which I will be showing. You get these mini Keyblade keychains, and you get either a plush monster form Goofy or Donald. Uh, it doesn't say anything on the box because obviously they didn't want to spoil anything. I think this is extremely cool. I'm probably going to keep the box to this, to be honest. Um, again, GameStop exclusive. This ran 30 bucks, but that was before the discount, so I don't know what it ended up. I bought quite a bit of things at once, so didn't really do the math. But let's get this bad boy open so I can show you guys what I got. Alright, they do not shy away from wrapping the ever-living heck out of this. Alright. 
Let's see. What's the best way to open this? Ah. All right. So, first things first. All right. So, I got Monster Form Goofy. He's actually pretty adorable. You can't go wrong with Funko Pop. You really can. He's got the, the blue eye and he's got the red eye. That's really adorable. Um, also, it says GameStop exclusive on tag, too. It's pretty nice. I like when Funko Pop, you know, or Funko as a whole, does exclusives like this. Uh, seeing that Kingdom Hearts 3 is supposed to be one of the biggest video game releases in history, so it's a really, really, really big deal. You know, you can't go wrong with Donald or Goofy, so hey, either is a win-win. Look how adorable he is. A little mushroom hat. I like his little tooth. Oh yeah, he's got a little tooth. <laughs> well, hey there, guys. It's me, Goofy. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing is the exclusive Funko Pop that I was talking about. Here we go. We have Sora riding the Heartless Wave, as you guys should remember aqua had to fight the same exact thing in 2.8 so hey maybe this is a telltale of what's going to happen in third game who knows anything's possible again gamestop exclusive this is going to be a nice 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 collection item um so it is still part of a set so there is normal Sora, there's the Soldier Heartless, uh, Monster Form Sora, Monster Form Goofy, and Monster Form Donald. And when I say Monster Form, I mean from the Monsters Inc. Uh, world that you will be visiting in the game. So yeah, there's that. The attention to detail is pretty good on that too. Um, it's one of the bigger sizes too. I feel like for 30 bucks, I felt like it was worth it seeing the uh, the fact it was an exclusive, and I'm pretty sure that's the only way you can get the uh, the Funko Pop. So, I mean, without buying it online, secondhand. Uh, not, they have the other ones at GameStop. No, but I'm talking about this one specifically. Yeah. Um. So here is the keychains oh cool okay no no so they're not actually keychains they're just miniature versions of keyblades and actually now that you th think about it if you take a look online it tells you some of the keyblades that are being released and these two were not listed, which tells you there are clearly a lot more. And a lot of people are undecided of how they feel about the designs and whatnot. But uh, this one looks pretty darn cool. Void Gear. And then you have Braveheart. I apologize, the sticker's over it. Um, if you take a look from the side you can see it and also that's what it looks like on the back so and of course shooting star um void gear that looks familiar that seems like uh, one of the main antagonists from one of the games you guys know what I'm talking about. The one that wears a helmet and then when he pulls it off, it's like an evil Sora with black hair. Um, now, the attention to details on these is a little wonky, but this is something I'm not going to open up and take out. I'm probably just going to keep this in a box as is. Probably keep it with the Funko Pop. All right. Well, box is empty, man. There's nothing left. I'm probably going to keep the box just because, you know, due to the fact it's a uh, collectible thing. And I don't typically buy stuff like this, but GameStop told me about it. 
because I was already looking at the statue and they told me about the deal they had going on. I don't know if it's still going on. Best way to find out is get out there as fast as you can. So there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed. If this is something that you really like and you are interested in, go to your local GameStop. They might not have them in stock. It was I had to pre-order the Funko Pop box to be able to get one. Um, and they might have a few in stock. Otherwise, I'm sure they'll be able to order one. Uh, I was not told exactly how long this is going to be around. My guess is probably a couple weeks leading up to the game release and then it's going to disappear. Who knows? But I got four very, very, very nice items and I feel like it was worth the money invested. So Sora, $49.99. If you do that discount that I was talking about, uh, if you mention it or if they do, you know how they like to make money. All said and done discount brought to 35 bucks, and then this is $29.99 for the whole set. Uh, the only thing that varies is whether or not you're going to get a Donald or you're going to get a Goofy. Um, other than that, this remains the same. From my knowledge, the three Keyblades, and then you get the same statue as everybody else. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed. I know this is a little different, but I really thought this was something cool. And with the hype around the game being released, which you guys know I'm going to be getting. In fact, actually, I got the deluxe version. I didn't buy the collector's edition because that had to be done uh, online through Square Enix, Square Enix directly. So uh, they're probably all sold out anyways. But I did do the deluxe version, which is going to be in a steel case and everything. So I'll be showing that off when I pick it up. I'm sure a lot of people will be doing it, but I wanted to go all out for this game. I passionately love this game and everything about it. And cheers. Comes out the 29th. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, leave a like, leave a comment. And if you are not subscribed already, please do. I have loads of content to offer you, and I strive for the best quality content I could possibly provide, and I will continue to do so. All right, guys, till next time, peace.